How's it going YouTube? New England Logger here. And I wanted to do a review on my Trek Marlin 7 now that I've made some upgrades and it's been close to about 400 miles that I've ridden this. Um, so let's just dive right into it. First and foremost you're going to notice that there's a light on the front of this now. We uh, took a ride out to Case Mountain in Manchester, Connecticut and we were out so late it got dark one night and we ended up out in the woods for quite some time so I invested in this light and it's really bright it's got three settings uh, battery pack that goes to it but it's 2400 luminance I know that's bright it's crazy works great things amazing so shut that off I, uh, I keep it unplugged for the most part so that it doesn't use the battery but the way I got it hooked up there is not too bad the newer version of this light, um, the the Victagen light, actually comes with the battery pack hooked up to it. My friend Sean actually got that. Um, so that might be one of the next upgrades I do is to get one with the battery pack right to it so I don't have all this wire here. Um, another one of the major upgrades I, I did that I'm glad I did was this seat from uh, ARS Classic. But I've noticed after riding a couple of hard rides, um, the factory seat that it came with was extremely, extremely hard. It made my tailbone hurt for like three or four days after the ride. So I checked out all the reviews on Amazon and I came across this seat. It was like $26.99. And I noticed that it was blue. I was like, hey, whatever. My friend's is red and he told me that it was great. And uh, yes, I ordered it. It uh, turns out that the blue seat's actually the women's seat. Threw the women's seat on there, and um, it's got some really soft material, really cushiony material. And um, the only difference I noticed between this one and the women's seat is that the, the men's seat is a little bit wider. So you can make your choice when you want to buy it. Also threw this pouch on when I bought the bike. So that's been there. That's a Bond Trigger. Just, you know, throw my wallet in, throw my keys in so I don't lose them. Uh, usually we ride with backpacks, but just in case, you know, we always got something on the bike. And then uh, last but not least, one of the major upgrades I did to this was getting a, a new set of pedals. Because the factory pedals that I came with, um, all the rocks that we were hitting, the little grippies were, were getting torn off of them, and the reflectors that are on the sides got messed up. So I bought these uh, black and red metal. I don't even know what they are. They're some Amazon brand three bearing um, pedals, but they work great. We've rode uh, three rides with it now. My feet never slip. They're like kind of stuck in place there. There's only been a few times where they've they've hit my shins, <laughs> but that's to be expected with any bike, you know, but you gotta be ready for it when you got metal ones. Um, the suspension has been amazing. We've been doing some crazy rides. I'm going to post a ride video after this that you can check out in my channel. If you go or I'll, I'll post a clip so that you can click onto it and watch one of our rides. You get to see kind of what the terrain that I've been dealing with is. Um, I've noticed my back brakes are wearing quite a bit. Uh, we're doing a lot of downhill stuff, some real rocky, rough stuff. So maybe now, you know, at the 500 mile mark, I might have them checked to see if they're gonna get uh replaced okay i got a hummingbird and a hummingbird feeder <laughs> it's cool anyway so i'm gonna see if the brakes are gonna need to get replaced um if not then uh yeah just keep an eye on them i guess but brake pads i guess are not not that expensive from what i've heard but i haven't I haven't priced them out yet so we'll have to see other than that if you guys have any questions about um some of the things i've experienced or Anything else that you think I might need to change or that I might think you need to change, feel free to ask or post comments in the comment section below, and I'd gladly answer them as soon as possible. I got a pretty quick turnaround time on answering questions for YouTube, so let me know what you think. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.